<laughs> You're gonna say thank you. Yeah. I am proper geeking out here. This arch was built 27 BC. That's over 2,050 years ago. I'm finding it really difficult to get my head around what was going on 2,000 years ago. Imagine if these walls could speak, the stories they would tell. Just blows my mind. I'm Elise, this is Lawrence, and this is our baby boy. We're traveling the world. But we're going to be doing things a bit differently. We're going to be traveling a month. And coming back to the UK and working a month. We're going to be traveling month on, month off. Until this little one goes to school in a couple of years. We want to see if it's actually possible to travel the world with a toddler in tow. So subscribe and come along for the journey. We are in Pula. Welcome to Pula. This, I think, is one of the most beautiful places we've ever been to. We love it. Absolutely stunning. We're on a Croatian tour. We flew in from London to Zagreb. We spent a couple of days there. I'll put a link in one of the pinned comments underneath so you can have a look at that video. Yeah. Then we hired a car and we've just driven to Pula. Top tip if you're hiring a car is do it online because it's about a quarter of the price. 100% in the same places. do it online. But today we were in Pula so we are going to stroll around the old town and then we're going to go and see the marina. Which is supposed to be beautiful. We're knocking about it somewhere in some sort of Coliseum. <laughs> this chap, James Joyce, he was an Irish fella. He was a novelist. He was probably one of the most important writers of the 19th century, or well, 20th century. He was born in 80, late 1800s. He was actually in Pula teaching the Austro Hungarian officers English. And this is his statue, sitting here, waiting for his espresso, looking over the arch. This place is incredible. You see? What is that, my boss? I've got you. The bombs destroyed a lot of the ancient monuments, but what it also did was it uncovered some of the ancient ruins. So these mosaic tiles were two meters below the floor. During one of the bomb raids, turned over all the turf and revealed this absolutely stunning mosaic piece. This place just gets more and more interesting as the day goes on. So if you're not as much of a history geek as um, this one over here. <laughs> what do you call me? <laughs> um, there's loads of coffee shops and restaurants and beautiful places to sit and have a glass of wine or a coffee or the water, whatever floats your boat. Beautiful, cute little eateries and drinkeries everywhere. So gorgeous. Here. I don't think I've ever seen him so excited. Yes, this place just got better. This is a temple, the Temple of Augustus. It was built 2,000 years ago. Pula acted as a base for Germany during the Second World War. So unfortunately, this place got bombed a lot. And this was one of the buildings that got hit. It had to get reconstructed stone by stone. Luckily, this building here was built in the 13th century and that managed to stay standing. Oh dear. Pula is obviously renowned for its Colosseum. Still standing, it's the sixth largest Colosseum in the world. It was built the same time as they were building the famous Colosseum in ancient Rome. The theatre used to hold 25,000 people. Now you can get 5,000 people in there when they use it as a music venue. It's hard to imagine, but there were actual gladiators that fought to the death in this place. So underground, you'll have lots of holding cells where the men would stay until their time to fight. They're actually preparing now for a concert of some sort. It's actually a kickboxing event. How amazing would it be to fight here in a coliseum in this day and age? When you come here, you'll notice there is a massive Italian influence. So when you come and eat, like we're just having our lunch at the minute. 
Bog. <laughs> there is so much Italian food everywhere. Everywhere is pizzas and pasta and seafood as well if you love seafood. So that is worth mentioning when you come here. If you like that kind of food, you're well away. In case you're wondering what that is about, that's a wedding brigade or what's it called? Convoy. A wedding convoy. That's what that is. <laughs> Feeding the birds. There we go, good boy. Wow. So while we've been here, we've actually found Croatia to be incredibly cheap. So this, this ice cream that Nigel just had was less than a pound and it was by like all like the main sort of touristy bits here. So if that was in Rome or something, you'd be looking at the ice cream being about 25 quid. So on that note, what we've done is a budget planner. We've done it for all of our places we've been so far. Budget planner and tracker, have a look. The link is in the description and the pinned comment. And it's got price guides and things like that, which are all relevant to today. So you'll be able to plan how much your trip is gonna cost you. And it's very clever, even if I do say so myself. So we've just finished our food. It's quite late, it's about 20 to six. We've just seen this market and we love a market we missed it but if you're here there's a market here and it looks like it sells truffles and olive oil and honey and all this other good stuff and wine so get down here if you're here because it looks like delicious that duties is that nice, no? Nice. Lawrence, as you've uh, been having heart palpitations all day with excitement, what was your favourite bit? It's all been my favourite bit. I think this um, place will be top five places I've been in our travels. Wow, strong The history of this place, I'm a sucker for architecture, it's just been incredible. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Guys, if you are in Croatia and you have got a few days to spare, get yourself over to Pula and have a day or two here. It's absolutely breathtakingly stunning. I mean, I do geek out anyway when it comes to history. I can't get over it. For his enthusiasm alone, give it a little like, give this video a little like, press the thumbs up, because this has probably been one of his favorite days of his life. It's not necessarily fast, isn't it? <laughs>